You see, Claire? It's his trousers! <laughs> They're too big for him! <laughs> Don't be silly, Waffles. They look just fine to me. <laughs> no, Claire. His new trousers for the bowling tournament. They're too big for him. He tried them on at Mama Connie's shop and they're hanging over his shoes. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, I tell you what, Waffles. Fetch them from Mama Connie's shop for me. It won't take me long to shorten them. OK. In the meantime, Pumpkin Patches, see if you can guess what this is. Oh, I wonder what this could be. I think it's a big, red, shiny insect with lots of spikes on its back. Let's see, maybe the insect's sitting on something blue. And it's got green legs. Am I right? No, I don't think I am. Oh, I know what that is. That's a strawberry. A big, red, ripe strawberry. And look at the green ones on either side of it. Hello! Is anybody here? Mama Connie! Catch them! Where are you, catch them? Hey! Oh boy, pumpkin patches! It doesn't look like anyone's here! Oh look! This is what I'm looking for! The trousers! <laughs> ah, there. I'll just hem them and then I can phone Uncle Bill to come and try them on. Oh, now what are the trousers? Hmm, maybe Uncle Bill fetched them. Kirsten, I'll bring you milk in a saucer. Um, Uh-oh! Something's wrong! Something's really wrong! Shh, Dwarfles. Uncle Bill, these are now far too short. I never took that much off. We had too many helping hands, Claire. Mama Connie also took some off. I'm so sorry, Uncle Bill. I didn't know. What are we going to do? I know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. <laughs> well, it's too late to get a new pair of trousers now. I'll just have to wear the old ones. I'm so sorry, Uncle Bill. Don't worry about it, Claire. The important thing about a game is not uh, what one wears, but how one competes. Easy, life can be so breezy if you only learn to sing along. Everything is dandy, butter, milk, and candy. Singing a la la song. Sing. La 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 we would like to congratulate Uncle Bill, our mayor of Pumpkin Patch. And the new bowls champion. Yeah! Uncle Bill! <laughs> Uncle Bill, you might have lost your trousers, but you didn't lose the bowls championship. <laughs> <laughs> Time for a celebration! Time for jubilation! And Uncle Bill, you're quite a... <clears throat> Sensation! <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for the lovely party. Trousers short or trousers long, now it's time for a party song. Come on, Mama Connie, do your thing. Yeah. Yeah. There is a dance they do in Africa. It puts the rhythm in your fit. There is a dance they do in Africa. Listen to the bit. Music playing, body swaying, it's the greatest sight you've ever seen. They do it in the city square and in the town she be. Quella, 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 that's the dance of Africa. Quella, 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 
dance until you glow. Quella, 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 that's the dance of Africa. Quella, 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 watch those bodies go. Quella, quella, you can do it. Quella, quella, come on, try. Quella, quella, nothing to it. Come, let's fly. Quella, 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 that's the dance of Africa. Quella, 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 you'll do it if you try. Pumpkin patch, oh pumpkin patch. Fun and sun in pumpkin patch. <laughs> Freckles and speckles will sing a little song. Woofles go woof 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 and sing along. Pumpkins are tasty and very good to eat. <laughs> Pumpkin pie is such a treat. <laughs> pumpkin patch, oh pumpkin patch. Let's all stay in pumpkin patch. <laughs> pumpkin patch, oh pumpkin patch. Every day we play in pumpkin patch. Oh. <laughs> I think that's the lot, Uncle Bill. <laughs> you pumpkin patches must have spent hours writing to us. Thank you so much. Thank you once again, pumpkin patches, for all the wonderful letters. I can assure you that we read each and every one of them. Oh, that's right, Uncle Bill. You know we'd like to answer every single one, but that would take forever. <laughs> Oof, all this reading is thirsty work, Uncle Bill. I think I'm going to get us something to drink. A glass of water will do me fine, thank you, Claire. Well, that's a good idea. I think I'll have some too. Oh, oh no. Oh, what a mess. Oh, I'm so sorry, Uncle Bill. Don't worry about me, Claire. The letters, the letters. Oh, what a mess. Oh, no harm um, done. These will dry in a jiffy if you hang them up somewhere. Hmm. Oh, I know, Uncle Bill. That mm -hmm. tree. It's perfect. Come on. Oh, let's see. Let's try. I can get all these dry. I hope so. Oh, that Go is on. really clumsy. Oh, ah, this is, there we this go. This is a wonderful idea, Claire. I'm sure this is going to work. Wonderful idea. They'll dry in no time, and then we can read them to the others. Let's see, that one there. Pumpkin patches. I've seen a lot of things. I've seen I've seen trees that grow apples, and I've seen trees that grow peaches, and I've seen I've seen trees that grow blossoms and flowers, but I've never ever seen a tree that grows letters. Oh boy! I've got to tell everybody. <coughs> Oh, hmm, 
What a pleasant surprise. Hello, Clay. I just brought you something tasty for tea. Oh, oh, that smells great. Come on, let's sit down. Oh, no, I can't stay. I have to get back to the shop. Oh, come on, just for a minute. All right, then. Oh, good. All right, let's see what this is. Oh, oh, apple pie. I just love this. Claire, Claire, I'm, you, and you, you have to fight because I'm, I'm the CM. You oh, first. Well, Mama, well, what's uh, wrong? Yeah, um, Mama Connie, don't uh, worry. Uh, he sometimes behaves uh, like this over absolutely nothing uh, at all. <laughs> no, 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 no. Claire, I have found something that is just truly amazing. I mean, Claire, it's, it's a miracle. Um, you have to see it, Clay. You what? have to. What are you talking about? Well, um, I, I look. Just come, 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 come. Um, oh. um, Claire, you have to see this for yourself. Well, Waffles, what have you seen? Claire, this is going to blow your mind. But I have seen a tree with letters growing on it—a real tree. Waffles. This sounds like a tall story to me. It's not. A, a letter tree? Yes. Oh, I think I'd better explain. Waffles, I'm sorry, but I got those letters wet and I just hung them up there to dry. Oh, uh, boy. So I, I didn't find anything truly amazing. Well, no, Waffles, you did. Those letters are from the pumpkin patches. Oh. I know. Let's gather under your letter tree. We'll read the letters, we'll have some of Mama Connie's delicious apple pie, and we'll have a great afternoon. Oh, that's a letter tree. That was a super pie, Mama Connie. Thank you, Uncle Bill. You've never been with us on a later day, Mama Connie. I think you should read the first letter. Oh, yes! yes. yes. Mama Connie. All right. The first letter comes from Bernadine Lombard from Creel. And then uh, Kate Howells from Sedona Bay. This one comes from Adrian Woolnuff from Rand Park Ridge. And Cecil Barnard from Worcester. They all want freckles and speckles to sing country ball. Yeah. 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 Go for it, speckles. Country boys, country boys. We're two happy country boys. Country boys, country boys. We're two happy country boys. This is Freckles, he's my cousin He knows country songs by the dozen This is Speckles, he wrote the song He put the words and music where they belong Country boys, country boys We're two happy country boys Country boys, country boys we're two happy country boys Country boys, country boys We're two happy country boys Country boys, country boys We're two happy country boys Two country boys That will always be a great favorite with the pumpkin patches. Thanks, Thanks for writing! Okay, it's, it's my turn to read now. My turn! Well done! Okay. Let's go on. Come on, Wolfos. Come on, Wolfos. Um, um, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on read! Come on, okay, wait, you want to read, and then you must I'm read. Still learning how to read. Oh, oh. I'm only a puppy <laughs> oh, dog. Okay, okay uh, this letter is from, from Matt and Catherine Foss, who are from um, East London. And they say that they'd like to hear 
Harry Flash and Claire sing I Wanna Dance. Oh, yeah. 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 I wanna dance, dance with you. Dance with you the whole night through Under the stars, under the moon Humming our favorite tune I wanna dance, dance with you Dance with you the whole night through Under the stars, under the moon Humming our favorite tune With you, dance with you the whole night through under the stars, under the moon, humming our favorite tune. Oh, Harry. Thank you so much for doing that dance with me. Oh, you're more than welcome, Miss Claire. It's always great fun visiting Pumpkin Patch. Aha, the fun is far from over. Just wait till you see what they get up to on the Brrr Show. Welcome, everyone, to the Brrr Show. Hello, 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 and welcome to the Ouch! Show. What's your favourite show? The Brrrr Show! Oh, great! And today we have a wonderful obstacle race. Bubblegum will tell us what to do. Me? Yes. Oh, <laughs> you bubble, OK. First of all, you start off when you hear the whistle, you go. You get under the blanket. You go under the blanket. I can't go under the blanket. I'll get stuck. OK. You then jump over the rope. You then grab the hat. You put the hat on and you boogie. Five times. One, two, three, four, five. OK. You then get to the skipping rope. You skip three times. How ready? How ready? How? One, two, three. Oh, there okay. we go. <laughs> you then run. You touch your partner and your partner goes. OK. Ready? Move on. Right. Right. One, two. Go, 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 Let's boogie! Boogie, 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 go, go, go! Boogie, boogie, two, three, okay! Three, go, go! Go! Hey! Yeah, go! Okay, wow, 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 let's see that! Yeah! Let's see what the points are! And the winner is the Blue Team! Yeah! yeah! Oh, okay. that's wonderful. That was great fun. So see you next time on The Bitter Show. Bye-bye! Pumpkin pie is such a treat. Pumpkin patch, oh pumpkin patch. 
Let's all stay in pumpkin patch. Pumpkin patch. Oh, 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 pumpkin patch. Every day we play in pumpkin patch. <laughs> Incy wincy spider climbing up the spout. Oh, hello, Freckles! Freckles! Hello, Uncle Bill! Hello, hello Uncle Bill! Uncle Bill? Mm? What is that funny thing? <laughs> this funny thing, Wiffles, is called a last. I'm busy fixing these old shoes. Well, um, why don't you just buy new ones? Because new is not always better, Wiffles. That's right. Sometimes new shoes can pinch like crazy. I prefer walking barefoot. Then the grass tickles my toes. <laughs> <laughs> I've had these old shoes for a very long time, but they're so comfortable that I don't want to throw them away. I use them on the farm. Hello, everybody. Hello, Hello there. there. Oh, I'm so glad my new tap shoes are all right now. You know, in the beginning they were a bit tight, but they've stretched now, and I actually don't feel them when I'm dancing. Oh, well, won't you show me those things that make the noise when you tap glass? Oh, of course I will, Wolfers. Look, there's a metal tap on the toe, and there's another one on the heel. When you tap them on the ground all together, that's the noise they make. Wow, wow. Well, that's how it works. I don't know oh, what would have happened if shoes hadn't been invented. Oh. But I don't wear shoes, Uncle Bill. I know, Woofles, I know. You have pads on your paws. Animals are very lucky, actually. Only horses really need shoes. Well, who can think of a nursery rhyme about a shoe? Oh, I can't! Please, 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 I think we'd better let you say this one, else we're in for a very hard time. Oh, great! OK, here it comes. Right, now then. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. So, oh, um, 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 so Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill ran away with the spoon. <laughs> <laughs> You're a funny dog, Wuffles, but it doesn't go like that. You're mixing them all up. <laughs> well, I'm just a little puppy. I can't remember everything. Oh, never mind, Wuffles. I'll tell it to you. You can just repeat it after me. All right. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. She gave them all broth without any bread. She gave them all broth without any bread. She whipped them all soundly and sent them to bed. She... I can't say that! Well, why not, Wuffles? It's the rhyme. Because it's not very nice. That old woman was very cruel to her children. <laughs> All right. All right, well, let's think of another one then. Uh, freckles? Uh, oh, I know. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, knock at the door. Five, six, pick up sticks. Seven, eight, lay them straight. Nine, ten, a big fat hen. Just like Ruda! <laughs> Ruda is not fat! Calm down, cousin. Hmm. I know. I'll make up a song about a shoemaker and you can all sing along. Oh, and I've had a brilliant idea. We can use my toy hammers in the song. Claire joins me first and then, um, Freckles and then Uncle Bill and then Wuffles, all right? Go for it, Speckles! Shoemaker, won't you please fix my shoe? A hole in the sole just won't do. Use a nail or use some glue. Shoemaker, won't you please fix my shoe? Shoemaker, won't you please fix my shoe? A hole in the sole just won't do. Use a nail or use some glue. Shoemaker, won't you please fix my shoe? Shoemaker, won't you please fix my shoe? A hole in the sole just won't do. Use a nail or use some glue. Shoemaker, won't you please fix my shoe? Shoemaker, won't you please fix my shoe? A hole in the sole just won't do. Use a nail or use some glue. Shoemaker.
Shoemaker, won't you please fix my shoe? Shoemaker, won't you please fix my shoe? A hole in the sole just won't do. Use a nail or use some glue. Shoemaker, won't you please fix my shoe? Thank you, Speckles. That was so much fun. But I'd better go now and practice that tap dance that Harry Flash taught me. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Oh, boy! I just love to watch Claire tap dance. <laughs> we have to hear the step she's going. Tap, tap, tap. We have to hear it tap, tap, tap in song. When we hear the step she's going tap, tap, tap We wish that we could tap along We love to hear the step she's going tap, tap, tap We love to hear a tap, tap, tap in song When we hear the step she's going tap, tap, tap we wish that we could tap along. No! We love to hear the step she's going tap tap tap. We love to hear a tap tap tapping song. When we hear the step she's going tap tap tap. We wish that we could tap. Exciting. Oh, this is exciting. I'm ready. Oh, I can't wait to see Claire's new tap dance. Me too. Me three, four, five, and six. <laughs> quiet, you lot, quiet. I have an announcement to make. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and pumpkin patches everywhere, the twinkling toes of our lovely Miss Claire. a marvellous dance, Claire. Oh, thank you, Uncle Bill. Well, I think after all that dancing, it's time for a story. Oh, boy! I just love stories! <laughs> Me too! <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a man who had a very special shoe shop. He made all the shoes by hand, and people came from everywhere to buy the wonderful shoes he had on the shelves. In the corner of the store, there was an old grandfather clock that went tick-tock all day and all night, and every hour, he would softly chime. One night, something very strange happened. The grandfather clock had just struck midnight when one of the shoes started talking. It was Miss High Heels, a beautiful pair of shoes made of pink satin. I'm bored, she said. We just stand here every night. Let's talk. Well, what do you want to talk about? Asked Mr. Mountain Boot. Bill, anything. When some lovely lady comes and buys me, I'll be worn to magnificent ball where everyone will admire me. I'll be the most beautiful shoes there. Mr. Mountain Boot was silent for a minute, and then he said, I'll be worn by a famous mountain climber. He'll climb to the top of the highest mountain, and I'll be with him all the way. My picture will be in all the newspapers. <laughs> 
That's nothing, said Mr. Running Shoe. <gasps> Some marvelous athlete will buy me and wear me to the Olympic Games. I won't just be in the newspapers, but on television as well. So there. Fiddle-dee-dee, said Miss Ice Skate, her blade flashing in the light. I'll be worn by the star of a huge ice show, and I'll take people's breath away with all the tricks I can do. And then Miss Ballet Slippers spoke. I'll be on the feet of a famous ballerina, and people will cheer for hours and throw flowers at us. Beat that. The old grandfather clock had been listening to all this talking, and then he said in a deep voice, It's no good having too high an opinion of yourself. Pride can come to a fall. He looked at an ordinary pair of men's shoes that hadn't said a word. The only thing special about them was that they were red, white and blue. And you, my friend? Said Grandfather Clock. Do you also have grand plans? Not really, said Mr. Red, White and Blue. I just hope that whoever buys me will feel comfortable and keep me for years and years. Oh, Pook, said Miss High Heels. That's very boring. And who's going to buy shoes in such silly colours anyway? Grandfather Clock struck seven. We'd better hush now, he said. Mr. Shoemaker will soon be here. At eight o'clock, the store opened and a famous Broadway dancer came inside. All the shoes knew who he was. He looked at them all and then picked up Mr. Red, White and Blue. I think these will be marvellous, Mr. Shoemaker. I'll just put some taps and spangles on them and wear them in my new Broadway show. All thousands of people will see my new shoes. He left the shop with a big smile on his face. He knew that Mr. Red, White and Blue would help him to be the most famous dancer on Broadway. Needless to say, Miss High Heels sulked for a week. And by then, Mr. Red, White and Blue was dancing on Broadway. Pumpkin patch, oh pumpkin patch. Fun and sun in pumpkin patch. Freckles and speckles will sing a little song. Woof, woof, goes woof, woof, woof and sings along. Pumpkins are tasty and very good to eat. Ha! Pumpkin pie is such a treat. Pumpkin patch, oh pumpkin patch. Let's all stay in pumpkin patch. Pumpkin patch, oh pumpkin patch. Every day we play in pumpkin patch. Uh, uh, Miss Claire, uh, Miss Claire, thank you for a very, very nice lunch. <laughs> it's not every day we eat like this, eh, Bob? <laughs> <laughs> Dead right, matey. Thanks a lot again, everybody. I think Miss Claire deserves a great big cheer. Yay! Well, 
Please don't. You'll make me blush. <laughs> I see you brought your fishing rod along, Bubblegum. Uh, yes, we're going fishing later this afternoon, Uncle Boo. No, oh, boy, I wish I was going. I just love fishing. Mm, you must be careful with those hooks, Bubblegum. They can cause a nasty accident. Uh, don't worry, Miss Claire. I know how to handle hooks. If we're going fishing, we'd better get going right now, Bubblegum. Uh, thanks again for a super duper lunch, Miss Glenn. Mm -hmm. right, right, let's go. <laughs> oh, 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 now look what you've done, Bubblegum. <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Glenn. I'm very, 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 very sorry. Oh. Never mind, it's not that serious. At least I didn't use my good dishes for lunch. <laughs> oh, I'm very sorry. I'm very, 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 very sorry, Miss Claire. You two run along. We'll clean up here. Oh, th thanks, <sighs> Uncle Bo. Uh, let me just get the hook. Boy, those two can't help getting into trouble all the time. Oh, you're right, Speckles. Anyway, if we all help, we can have this cleaned up in a jiffy. <laughs> Hello, my dear. Hello, Mrs. Chatterbox. And what's your name? Deline. Deline! Oh, Deline, you look like a queen. You're so lovely. Tell me, Deline, why do you like helping people? Because it makes me feel nice and makes other people feel nice. Oh, that's so true, isn't it? And who do you like helping? My teacher and my mother. Oh, and what do you do for your mummy? I help her make fruit salad. And what do you put in a fruit salad? Fruit, of course. Oh, yes, how silly of me, of course. Yes, fruit. <laughs> what sort of fruit do you put in? Peaches? Yes, and, and plums, oh, and yes. grapes, and apples. Oh, stop, stop, you're making me hungry. Do you put cream with it as well? Yes. Oh, how okay. lovely. Yes, yes, I love cream. And what do you do for your teacher? I help her to tidy up and take things to the office. Oh, that's lovely, Deline. I think it's lovely to help people, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it makes everybody feel good, so we should all do it, shouldn't we? Yes. Oh, bless you, Deline. All right, bye-bye, my dear. Bye. I feel terrible, Rhubarb. The pumpkin patches are always nice to us, but we bring them nothing but trouble. I think you're right, you know. We should do something to fix our mistakes. Think of something. Um, uh, I know. We can do little odd jobs for them, like like cleaning the barn and... I and didn't and mean like work. Oh, oh. I know what. Let's give them a show. I can still remember that trick with the scars. And that one with the book. <laughs> oh, and that other one that you do that I like so much. <laughs> Let's go and ask Noodle to do the show with us. <laughs> that will be great fun. <laughs> we want to do a show. We want to do a show. Hey, I'm the video. We want to do a show. Come on. We want to do a show. We want to do a show. We want to do a show. Hello, Hello Noodle. Noodle! Hi guys! How are you today? Sad! Why are you sad, man? I don't know! You're always sad. What's wrong with you? I'm only happy when I'm sad. Well, here's something to cheer you up. Can you still juggle? <laughs> I don't know! Oh, come on, snap out of it, Noodle Man. Yeah, right, go. Each one, and another one, and another one. And another one. Right, go. Oh, no! We were going to ask you to do a show with us for the pumpkin patches, but not if you juggle like that. I'll practice. I'll be very good. You'd better be. We don't want you to spoil our nice day in pumpkin patch. It's a great. Day in pumpkin patch, it's a great day in pumpkin patch, it's a great day in pumpkin patch, needle dee, noodle dee, match. It's a fun time for everyone, it's a fun time for everyone, it's a fun time for everyone, dum da da dum dum dum. Please put on your dancing shoes Everybody is delighted 
songs to sing and happy news. Everybody is invited. It's a great day in Pumpkin Patch. It's a great day in Pumpkin Patch. It's a great day in Pumpkin Patch. Needle be needle be nash. Hello! <laughs> thank you, thank you, everyone. We are here to bring you lots of fun. With tricks and jokes and juggling too. Remember, this one is for you. Oh, we want to make you laugh. <laughs> We want to make you laugh. We want to chase the clouds away. We want to make you laugh. We want to make you laugh. We want to make you laugh today. Listen what happens when I pull my ear. Listen what happens when I push my nose. Come, my good friend, bubble gum. Show us what happens when you beat your tum. Oh, we want to make you laugh. <laughs> we want to make you laugh. <laughs> we want to chase the clouds away. We want to make you laugh. <laughs> we want to make you laugh. <laughs> we want to make you laugh today. Before we stun you with our fantastical tricks, you have to learn something that is going to help us with those tricks. I'll count one, two, three, four, and then you all say, boom, boom, boom shakalak. Right, let's try it. One, two, three, four, boom, boom, shakalak. Again, one, two, three, four, boom, boom, shakalak. Yeah, that's very good. Very good. Right now. We would like to introduce you to a very good friend of ours. Noodle, the greatest juggler Pumpkin Patch has ever seen. A music maestro, please. Yes. Noodle, come on, come on, Noodle! Yay! Wow, wow. Wow. And now for some mind-blowing tricks to amaze you. Yes! Right, Mr. Aruba, may I please have my trick? Right, here the we go. CD! As you can see, in here, we have got a... CD! CD. As you can see, and in there, there is exactly. nothing. Right, let's put it back in again. Okay, now, just to make sure, I'm going to show you again that in here, we have got a... CD! CD. Right! And, and now, now I'll slip it back happen. in there again. And I'll go like this, and... Let's do the count. Let's see what happens. One, two, two three, four. Boom, boom, shakala! And what has happened? Oh, -ho! oh it's changed again! Yay! <laughs> Thank you very much. Right, Mr. Rubop, your turn. Away you go. I had this wonderful trip. Look. An empty bag, right? It's empty, empty right? Mm -hmm. All right, now you, Bubblegum, you put that scarf right in here. Okie dokie, in you go. Hold on. And what do we say? One, two, three, four. Boom, boom, shakala! And it's changed to green! <laughs> That's really the good. bag is still <laughs> empty, right? It's still empty. Okay, clever guy, change it back. All quickly. right, let's see if we can change it back. Okay, okay. good idea. Right, one, two, three, uh -huh. and in. I think we and must do the count again. Uh -huh. One, two, three, four. Oh. Boom, boom, shakalaka! And there it is! Oh, I think that's really wonderful. <laughs> 
And now we have something very special. Uh-huh. All these beautiful pictures of the clowns and the animals and everything in this book. Oh, it's wonderful. <laughs> Do you want to see it? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. All right. But, but, oh, there's no. nothing inside. There's oh, nothing in no. there. Did you take the drawings, Bubblegum? No, I didn't. I'm sorry. Now let's see what happens. Uh, shall we do the count first? Yes. All right. One, two, three, four. Boom, boom, boom shakalaka. Right. And there we go. <laughs> and pictures. Oh, but <laughs> so they're not coloured, and I want coloured pictures. Oh. Have you got colours? Uh, I've got a plan. Look at this. Hey, <laughs> hey. But maybe we can change these colors. Right. Let's do the count. One, One two, two, three, four. Boom, boom, shake a leg. Oh, let's, see. let's see what happens. Oh, no. <laughs> yes. And again. One, two, three, four. Boom, boom, shake a leg. And there we go. Oh, great. <laughs> Let's yeah. see if I can put all these okay. colors into the book. Okay. Let's see. Uh-huh. One, two, three, four. Boom, boom, shakala. Uh-huh. Now let's see then. Oh, oh very good. Oh, that's great. Oh, Rhubarb, you're very clever. I know, my good man, <laughs> Bubblegum. Are you enjoying yourselves? Yeah. 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 One more trick. Huh? Can you see this box is empty? Yes. I also Can want to see. Can you all see? Yes. Empty, right? Well, Nothing. Empty. Hello, how do you do, Rubab? <laughs> He's such a funny guy. Right. What do we say? One, two, three, four. Boom, boom, shake a And there we go. But it was we go. just go. I know it. There we go. There Lots we go. of stuff for an empty box. <laughs> What right. a wonderful right. day! Did you enjoy the show? Yeah! <laughs> really? Yeah! Noodle! Noodle, come here and come take a bow! Noodle! Good for Noodle! <laughs> I've had so much fun, I'm almost happy! Of course you are! You are in the happiest place in the whole wide world! And where is that? Pumpkin Bash! Where is that? Pumpkin Patch! Let's all run to Pumpkin Patch! Pumpkin Patch, oh Pumpkin Patch! Fun and sun in Pumpkin Patch! Freckles and speckles will sing a little song! Woof, woof, goes woof, 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 and sings along. Pumpkins are tasty and very good to eat. Ha! Pumpkin pie is such a treat. Woof, woof. Pumpkin patch, oh, pumpkin patch. Let's all stay in pumpkin patch. Woof, woof. Pumpkin patch, oh, pumpkin patch. Every day we play. In pumpkin patch. Come on, come on, get these things aboard. The train can't wait forever. Come on. We're going as fast as we can, Uncle Bill. You know, Uncle Bill, I don't know why we pack off these things anyway. We never use them on Sunrise Island. I wonder what's happened to Freckles and Speckles. I told them not to be late. Well, if they're not here soon, we'll have to leave without them. We'll all go and find them, Uncle Bill. I'll just be a minute. Speckles! Speckles! Are you there? We have to leave for Sunrise Island in one minute. Oh, no! Freckles and Speckles have disappeared. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, well, I think that's all, Uncle Bill. Wait! Everybody, wait! We can't leave now! What are you talking about, Woofles? Freckles and Speckles! They're not there! Their cottage is empty! Oh, no. What a start to our holiday. What are we going to do, Uncle Bill? Wait a minute. I saw them whispering and giggling last night at dinner. I thought at the time they were up to something, but I didn't pay much attention. Well, then, if we want to get to Sunrise Island, we'd better leave now! I suppose you're right. 
Oh, well, Uncle, but whatever they were planning last night, I'm sure they're all right. Come on, let's go. Are you ready, Mr. Drain Driver? Yes, sir! <coughs> Come on, Pumpkin Patches, it's holiday time on Sunrise Island. <coughs> Let's stop rowing for a minute, Freckles. My arms are killing me. All right, cousin, but not for long. We have to get to Sunrise Island before the others if we want to surprise them. Boy, I'm looking forward to this holiday. Sea, sand and a beautiful blue sky. Start rowing, cousin. Sunrise Island, here, here we come. come. Well, I need a holiday after carrying all this stuff. Never mind, Uncle Bill. We're here now. Oh boy, I can't wait for my first swim in the sea. I just wish I knew where Freckles and Speckles were. Surprise! Oh. Well, it's all very well planning a surprise, but you did have us worried, you know. Oh my goodness. We never thought about it like that, cousin. You know, Uncle Bill is right. It's more of a relief than a surprise seeing you safe and sound. We're sorry, Claire. We won't do it again. Oh, come on, everybody. Problem solved. Now let's start our holiday. Here, catch, Claire. <laughs> On a tropical island with you, the sea and the sunshine, and the sky so blue. On a tropical island, with the palm trees swaying. On a tropical island, with you. Listen to the ocean breeze Whispering in the trees We gorge ourselves on tropical fruit Don't I look stunning in my bathing suit? On a tropical island With you The sea and the sunshine And the sky so blue on a tropical island When the palm trees swing On a tropical island With you <laughs> Playing so oh, nicely. Boy, Uncle Bill, this is the life. I sometimes think I could stay on Sunrise Island forever. Oh. Careful, Claire, careful! You might break the thing that I'm building. Be careful, please. <gasps> Sorry. Oh, you're far too energetic for me, Claire. I'm going to have a little snooze before lunch. Come on, cousin. Let's go and look for some shells. Oh, can we please, Claire? We won't stay away long. All right, Speckles, but don't go too far, because lunch will be ready soon. Hello, Jessica. Hello, Mrs. Chatterbox. Have you ever been on holiday to the sea? Yes. And what did you do there? I played on the waves with my surfboard. Surfboard? How do you go on damn sights? The sites we are now looking at are of a on the end and you go zoom. Zoom? And how do you go zoom? What pushes you? I sat on a sand castle. And what happened to the sand castle? It was my sand castle and the big waves swept all around the sand castle and it fell down. Oh dear, it fell down. Did it take you a long time to build it? No, the guys helped me. Oh, the guys helped you. It's always useful to have some guys to do the building, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. And do you like the beach? Yes. What's the best thing about the beach? It's... I love surfing on my yellow surfboard. Yes, that's lovely, isn't it? 
So you come and tell us again about some of and your... I picked snail shells on the rocks. Oh, did you get shells as well? You had a lovely time, didn't you? Yes. And you will come and tell us some more about your holiday, will you? Yes. All right, Jessica. Thank you for coming in. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Jumping jellyfish! Can you believe these beautiful shells we found, cousin? Oh, they are magnificent! Uncle Bill and Claire and Wuffles will get a huge surprise when they see them. Uncle Bill! Claire! Wuffles! Come and see what we found! Come and look! Look at these! Aren't they beautiful? That one looks like a pumpkin! <laughs> oh, and that one looks like a star! Oh, it's it's like the sky! Lovely! And look at those stripes on that one! Isn't that beautiful? Oh, wow! That one's like a cone! And look at that one! It's got all spikes on it! <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what other beautiful things there are under the sea! Oh, there are many, Wuffles! Just think about it! Wonderful coral reefs with beautiful colours, where these incredible tropical fish live. And oysters holding priceless pearls. And graceful seaweed that sways back and forth as if it's dancing. And sea anemones that look just like flowers. And old sunken ships with hidden treasure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there must be a wonderful world underneath the sea. Underneath the ocean waves. There are many creatures living They live there so happily Underneath the sea Happy in their water world All the time they keep on swimming Watch them move so gracefully Underneath the sea Starfish Shining bright, angel fish, pure delight. Mrs. Octopus waves her arms about. Seahorses gallop by, seaweed waves without a sign. Whales and dolphins, everything. Father Neptune is their king. Underneath the ocean waves There are many creatures living They live there so happily Underneath the sea Sunrise Island must be the best place in the whole wide world. In fact, I'd like to be watchdog here because it's so quiet, I wouldn't have to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> now you sound like rhubarb and bubblegum, Waffles, but you're right. I also love the peace and quiet. Uh oh, there goes the peace and quiet. And here comes Birdie Bell. Oh. Time to go and look for some shells, cousin. Let's duck. Come on, darling. Oh, 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 oh. oh, these children are driving the bonkers today. Claire, Uncle Bill, Waffles, what are you doing here? I never expected to see you. Well, we're having a holiday on Sunrise mm. Island, Birdie. Shiver my timbers and waggle my tail. Do you call this a holiday? You're not doing anything. Come on, children, let's show them what a holiday is really all about. Flowers, please. Thank you. Come on, darlings, let's boogie. Thank you. 
Pumpkin patch, oh pumpkin patch. Let's all run to pumpkin patch. <laughs> pumpkin patch, oh pumpkin patch. Fun and sun in pumpkin patch. <laughs> Freckles and speckles will sing a little song. Woofles go woof 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 and sing along. Pumpkins are tasty and very good to eat. <laughs> Pumpkin pie is such a treat <laughs> Pumpkin patch, oh pumpkin patch Let's all stay in pumpkin patch <laughs> Pumpkin patch, oh pumpkin patch Every day we play In pumpkin patch <laughs> Hello, pumpkin patchers! Oh, the journey was very much tiresome. Oh, I feel much tired. Mm. I wonder how Cousin Freckles is doing. And I would like to have some of Claire's scrumptious pumpkin fritters. Oh, it is so nice to be back. <laughs> but why is it so quiet? Hello! I am here! Cousin Chico Gonzalez from Mexico! Nobody here. Now where is that big fat puppy dog who is supposed to guard this place? Let me try again. Hello! I am here! Cousin Chico Gonzalez from afar! Cousin Freckles! Cousin Freckles! Clear! Clear! Waffles! Waffles! Nobody here. It is so very, very quiet. Let me rest a while somewhere till they come back. I'll snooze a bit in the barn on some soft hay. See you soon, fellows. Don't tell them I'm here. I want to give them a big surprise here. <laughs> Trouble, 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 quarrel, quarrel, quarrel. Trouble, 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 it set my leaves a quiver. Trouble, 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 quarrel, quarrel, quarrel. Trouble, 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 it get my music quiver. How can we stay out of trouble? We always seem to get in trouble. Try to fix what's wrong, then sing a happy song. Try to fix what's wrong and sing a happy song. No quarrels, no quarrels, no troubles, no troubles. I got a bone, I got a bone. Oh, hello, pumpkin patches. Boy. Look at this huge bone Mr. Butcher gave me. I'm sure it's the size of a dinosaur bone. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to dig a hole and bury it. And then later on, I'll unearth it and eat it. Oh, bone, bone. Oh, special bone. Oh, boy, yes. Professor Fossil was busy telling me that millions and millions of years ago, dinosaurs used to live right here in Pumpkin Patch. And one was so big, he was big as a crocodile standing on his hind legs. And his name was Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> And what he used to do is he used to chase all the smaller dinosaurs all over the place. Rawr, rawr. And when he caught them, he'd tear them to pieces with his big, sharp teeth. Rawr, 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 rawr. Oh, God.
Oh, oh, oh. Did, did, did you hear that, Pumpkin Patches? It sounds like Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh, no. Oh, boy. This is terrible. And it sounds like it's coming from the barn. Oh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Oh, what am I going to do? Well, I know that I am the watchdog of Pumpkin Patch, and it is my job to guard this place, but... I'm only a small puppy dog! <laughs> what a wonderful day's fishing, cousin! Oh, I know! But that big one got away and now... No one's going to believe us, cousin! Danger! Danger! You're treading on dangerous ground! Oh, danger! Oh, oh, Wuffles! Is there a bomb somewhere or something? Oh, no! Well, then stop playing the fool, Wuffles, and look at my fish! <laughs> Did you hear that? See, I think there's a dinosaur fast asleep in the barn! He must have survived for millions of years! Oh, no. And I'm sure... It's a Tyrannosaurus Rex! Oh. Tyrannosaurus Rex! Oh, oh. No. He, he, he is very, very cruel. Has a big jaw like a crocodile and loves meat! Let's hide, cousin! Yes! Don't worry, Freckles and Speckles. I know how to do karate. If that Tyrannosaurus Rex comes anywhere near us, then I'll just go. Hiya! 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 Chop! Chop! Doggy Bunga! And if that doesn't work, then I'll just give him a boxing lesson with a right jab and a left jab and a right uppercut and a left and a right. Like I said, Hi, Wuffles, the watchdog of Pumpkin Patch will protect you. And I'll also protect all of you Pumpkin Patches at home. That was such a tiring day at school, Uncle Bill, and I've still got all these books to mark. How was your day? Oh, I'm glad you asked, Claire. I must show you my last shot. Oh. The jack, you see, was lying there. And there were many woods lying around it. I remember there was one here. There was one lying there. There was another one here. And several lying right around. So I knew that this would have to be the shot of my life. So what happened next? I planned it all, you see. But I'll just use one of these brushes. First of all, my wood had to curl in from the backhand side to hit the jack, you see. Right. So I bend down and let it go. There you are! Very good! <laughs> oh, I'd like to have a go as well. Let's Carry see on. if I can. Right. Mm. <laughs> no, okay. no, one day I must really teach you how to play bowls. <laughs> quiet! Keep quiet! Oh no, you might wake up the Tyrannosaurus Rex! Now come on, hide! Run for your lives! Waffles? <laughs> Tyrannosaurus Rex comes for us, then I'll hit him over the head with this bone. 
Waffles, oh, Waffles, Waffles, it's all right, it's all right. Calm down, Waffles, calm down. But how can a dinosaur still be alive today? Nowadays, anything is possible. Anything. I'll just check it out. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, wait. I know. I'll get my fire engine and I'll wind it up and I'll let it drive into the barn. And when he wants to bite us, I'll throw the fish at him. Oh, no, I don't approve of violence. I'll sing him a lullaby. Right. Action. <laughs> The place is on fire! Help! Help! Fire! Gus and Chico from Mexico! <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> You're in pumpkin pad! <laughs> 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 Here for a moment! <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. Danny, those drugs are going to take over, and pretty soon you're not going to have any control over your own life. <laughs> and your life is so no. perfect. Pumpkin patch, oh, pumpkin patch. Let's all run to pumpkin patch. <laughs> Pumpkin patch, oh pumpkin patch. Fun and sun in pumpkin patch. <laughs> Freckles and speckles will sing a little song. Woofles go woof 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 and sing along. Pumpkins are tasty and very good to eat. Ha! Pumpkin pie is such a treat. <laughs> pumpkin patch, oh pumpkin patch. Let's all stay in pumpkin patch. <laughs> pumpkin patch, oh pumpkin patch. Every day we play in pumpkin patch. Hello, pumpkin patches. As you know, I'm the watchdog here in pumpkin patch. And it's my job to make sure that no strangers come here to make trouble. Uh-oh! Here comes a stranger now. Just excuse me while I go and do my job. No, make waffles, men! I'm far too tired to listen to your barking. And anyway, you should know who I am by now. Well, of course I know who you are, Mr. Postman. But it's my job to act fierce and tough. Well, if you're so tough, you can carry this bag to Claire's house. The pumpkin patches have written hundreds of letters again. Tell me, do you read all these letters? Well, of course we do. And I've also learned how to read so I can help now. Well, let me carry on. A postman's job is never done. Uh, excuse me. Mr. Postman, before you leave, um, 
While you're leaving, can I bark at you? You know, just, just to keep in practice. Yeah, well, if you must, Woofles, but bark slowly, because I'm not running fast. Roo! 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 There is nothing better than getting a letter. Hello, Mr. Postman. Hello, Mr. Postman. Bring a whole big batch. There is nothing better than getting a letter. Bring them all to Pumpkin Flash. Some come by train. Some come by plane, some come from over the sea. I just hope that There is nothing better than getting a letter. Just look at this, Pumpkin Patches. We're going to have a grand time getting through all these. Don't go away, Pumpkin Patches. If you've written to us, your letter might be on television. <laughs> these riddles are so funny, I don't know where the Pumpkin Patches get them all. Just listen to this one. What did the sand say to the rain? Mm, we don't know. No, 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 no. If you carry on like this, my name will be Mud. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Samaya Bunda. Oh, here are some great ones from Leslie Estrosen, who lives in Horizon. Um, where do royal hens live? Mm. Oh, I don't know. All right, cousin. Where do royal hens live? At Cluckingham Palace. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh here's another one. Um, what small, green, sour, and cleans your teeth? Oh, we don't know. That's a very difficult one. Um, a tooth pickle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I also got a riddle from uh, uh, James Mill. What word has the most letters in it? We don't know that don't know one, that cousin. One, no. <laughs> Mailbox. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I've got one as well. This one is from Kathy Senecal, and her riddle is: What dog has no head, no legs, and no tail? Oh, boy, <laughs> I don't know that one. That's a difficult one. <laughs> a hot dog. Oh, dog. <laughs> 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 Vashni from Virulum wants to know what starts with a T, ends with a T, and is full of T. Why, Uncle Bill? I can't think of this one's hard. It isn't really, Woofles. It starts with a T, ends with a T, and is full of tea. The teapot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I could laugh my head off. <laughs> Clunk. Oh, come on, Uncle Bill. Just one more. Please, please, please. please. <laughs> All right, Woofles. Avishar Bartu of Lanesia South wants to know what runs but never goes anywhere. Oh, oh that's a hard one. Oh, no. A tap. <laughs> True. <laughs> oh, well, I have laughed enough for a week. Let's all get our breath back while we look at some lovely drawings. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, Pumpkin Patches, those drawings were lovely. Thank you so much for going to all that trouble. We've also got some photographs from Fatima and Fidella Bibi Dean, from Tanya, who's nine years old, and from little Daria Dalvi, who's only two years old. In the photograph, she was one year old, but she loves to watch Pumpkin Patch all the time. Let's go, cousin! One, two, the Pumpkin Patches are the greatest, sending us so much to read. They say they love us, but we love them very much indeed. Yay! <laughs> And now, everybody, it's time for brrrr, the Bubblegum and Rhubarb Show. Welcome, everyone, to the Brrrr Show. So here we are with the Brrrr Show. We'll do a trick or two. We'll sing a song. It's showtime, folks. It's just, just for you. you. Oh, we want to make you laugh. <laughs> We want to make you laugh We want to chase the clouds away We want to make you laugh We want to make you laugh We want to make you laugh today Listen what happens when I pull my ear Listen what happens when I push my nose Come my good friend Bubblegum Show us what happens when you beat your tum. Oh, we want to make you laugh. <laughs> we want to make you laugh. <laughs> we want to chase the clouds away. We want to make you laugh. <laughs> we want to make you laugh. <laughs> we want to make you laugh today. Thank you, thank, thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, ask me, Bubblegum. Ask me. Which is your favourite show? The <laughs> Show! <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. A riddle for you, my good mate. Oh, great. A riddle. Hmm? What goes all around the world and yet stays in one corner? I don't know. Do you know? <laughs> we give up. A postage stamp. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I've also got one. What, what? What is a tornado? Oh, that's easy. A tornado is a very big storm. Oh, no, 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 no. It's Mother Nature doing the twist. <laughs> I've got one for you about a chicken. On which side does a chicken have the most Feathers. Yeah. Do you know? Eh? <laughs> I know! The outside! Right! <laughs> hey, Ruma! Yes? I'll bet you something. Yes? I bet you I can sing underwater. Oh, impossible, mm -hmm. my good man. Impossible. Do you think he can sing underwater? <laughs> well, then you are all losers because here I've got a cup of water. And I'm singing underwater. Oh, I can make it up. <laughs> that's a very good trick, Bubblegum, but I know one that's even better. My good friend Bubblegum is now going to read my thoughts. Um, Face the back and don't peep. I'll go, don't go. Peep. I won't peep. I won't You're peep. cheating! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> For this trick, we need a number, so show me the fingers of your hand. Any amount, any... Is this what you want? One Don't say any numbers. All right. Here we go, Bubblegum. Okay. See if you can read my mind. I just tune into your brain. <laughs> I think... Five. Right! <laughs> 
It's almost time to go. Did you enjoy the show? Yeah! <laughs> well, before we go, Bubblegum, I would like to hear you sing underwater one more time. But I've already done that trick. Not huh? like this, you oh, haven't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Never mind, Bubblegum. I'll sing a little goodbye song with you. <laughs> underwater. What does he mean, underwater? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it's no use just us being wet. What about those? Oh, good idea. <laughs> Oh, we want to make you laugh. <laughs> we want to make you laugh. <laughs> we want to chase the clouds away. We want to make you laugh. <laughs> we want to make you laugh. <laughs> we want to make you laugh today. Please keep writing to us, Pumpkin Patch, as we love getting your letters. Our address is... Pumpkin Patch, Post Office Linden, 2104. And remember, Pumpkin Patches, if you can't write, then draw me a picture, because I love to look at... Pumpkin Patch, oh, Pumpkin Patch. Let's all run to Pumpkin Patch. <laughs> Pumpkin patch, oh pumpkin patch. Fun and sun in pumpkin patch. <laughs> Freckles and speckles will sing a little song. Woof woof goes woof 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 and sings along. Pumpkins are tasty and very good to eat. <laughs> Pumpkin pie is such a treat. <laughs> pumpkin patch, oh pumpkin patch. Let's all stay in Pumpkin Patch <laughs> Pumpkin Patch, oh Pumpkin Patch Every day we play in Pumpkin Patch <laughs> Let me do a little sand Dance. Let me sing a little melody I want to bring a little joy To every girl and boy I see Let me do a little sand dance Maybe you can learn a step or two And when I do my dance It's just you. I spread a little sand upon the floor and then I do my dance once more. Let me do a little sand dance Maybe you can learn a step or two And when I do my dance It's just for you Hello, Mr. Vagabond! Hello, Woofles! My name is not just Woofles. My name is Woofles Mansell. When I grow up, I'm going to be a racing driver, just like my good friend, Nigel. <laughs> Why are you in such a good mood today, Mr. Vagabones? Well, Woofles, it's a very special day for me today. Well, why is it so special? It's 
It's my birthday. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! I just love birthdays! So, are you going to have a party? Oh no, Wuffles, I'm far too old for a party. Oh no, you're not, Mr. Vagabones! Now come with me, I'm going to give you a party! <laughs> Ding walla walla boom walla walla ching a ling chang chong. This is a little nonsense song. Ding walla walla boom walla walla ching a ling chang ching. It's so easy to sing. Ding walla walla boom walla walla rat a tat tat tat. Go rhymes with go, get rhymes with fat. Ding walla walla boom walla walla ding a ling dang dong. Join in our nonsense song. Ding walla walla boom walla walla ching a ling chang chong. This is a little nonsense song. Ding walla walla boom walla walla ching a ling chang ching. It's so easy to sing. Ding walla walla boom walla walla rat a tat tat tat. Go rhymes with flow, get rhymes with fat. Ding walla walla boom walla walla ding a ling dang dong. Join in a nonsense song. Oh, here we are, Uncle Bill. A nice glass of orange juice loaded with vitamins. <laughs> Thanks so much, Claire. I was rather thirsty. <laughs> Wait, everybody! I've got some very exciting news! Waffles, waffles, please don't make such a big deal out of such a small thing. Well, sit down and tell us all about it. Well, you see, everybody, today is Mr. Vagabones' Birthday! Oh. Well, many happy returns, Mr. Bagabones. Thank you, Uncle Boo. And may there be many more. Thank you, Claire. <laughs> well, aren't we going to give him a party? Of course we are. Mm. Well, let's see. I baked a chocolate cake this morning. I've got some orange juice. I've got biscuits. We'll ask Freckles and Speckles to come over. You can't have a birthday without a party, Mr. Bagabones. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Oh, you know, these pumpkin patches are the most wonderful friends in the whole wide world. Hello, chocolate. <laughs> Come on, everyone. One, two, three. Happy birthday, Mr. Bagabones! Oh, thank you very much, everybody. I don't really know what to say. This is the best birthday I've ever had. Oh, yay! Yay! I should really do something to repay your many kindnesses. Um, who's in the mood for a story? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Everybody has been so sweet to me that it reminded me of the honey princess. <gasps> and this is her story. Once upon a time, there was a lovely princess called Petunia. She lived in the most beautiful garden you have ever seen, and it was called the Garden of Flowers. Her house was called Honey House and was made out of a honeycomb. Every morning, she walked out into the sunshine and looked at the wonderful flowers all around her. There were millions of them in all the colors of the rainbow. Butterflies darted everywhere and over it all was the steady hum of thousands of bees. They loved this garden and Princess Petunia loved them. They made the sweetest honey you have ever tasted. Princess Petunia was very clever. She gathered the honey and sold it in the marketplace. And with the money she made, she planted more flowers so that the garden grew bigger and bigger every year, providing lots of food for the bees and the other insects. Buzzing here and buzzing there, the bees were busy as only bees can be. But everything wasn't moonlight and roses, I'm afraid. Near the edge of the forest, there was a wicked and bad-tempered king called King Bitterberry. One day, he called his son into his chambers. I am tired of being the poorest king in the country, Florimond. I have an excellent plan, even if it is a little wicked. <laughs> what is it this time, father? 
I am going to capture that sweet young thing, Princess Petunia. She is making a fortune out of all the honey she sells. I will keep her captive in the dungeon until she agrees to give me all that money. But father, she's never done you any harm. Oh, please leave her alone. Now hush up. My coffers are empty. You just do as you're told. When Petunia is safely locked up, you must guard her well. Poor Prince Florimond still wanted to say something, but his father stormed out and commanded his guards to go and fetch the princess from her honey house. They carried her back to King Bitterberry's castle, and all her pleading and crying never helped one bit. Soon she was behind the bars of a cold, dark cell in the dungeon, crying bitterly. Florimond stood outside the cell, guarding it. He looked around and then softly called, Princess Petunia, please stop crying and come over here. Petunia was soothed by his calm voice and came to the bars. <laughs> you look like a kind person. Please help me to escape. Oh, I'd love to, but my father has the only key to this door. Never mind, though. I will try and think of a plan. As he said this, a fat little bee came flying by and flew into Petunia's cell. <laughs> Hello, my little friend. I bet you never thought you'd see me like this. <laughs> Wait a minute, Princess Petunia. If we can get all of your bees to build a honeycomb in the cell, we can collect the wax. And what good could we do with the wax? Nothing. Oh, yes, we can. My father keeps the key to your cell on a chain around his waist, and he never lets it go, not even when he's sleeping. What has that got to do with wax? Well, I'll creep into my father's chambers and make a print of the key in the wax. Then I'll get my friend the locksmith to make a key from the print. We'll have you back home very soon. The bee went and told all his friends about Florimond's plan, and soon they were buzzing in and out of Petunia's cell. Before you could say buzz, buzz, ting-a-ling, there was a huge hive in one of the corners, filled with luscious honey and lots of beeswax. When there was enough, Petunia gathered it and passed a big ball of wax through the bars to Florimond. He waited until the lazy king was fast asleep, and then he quietly crept up to him. He quickly made a print of the key in the wax, and then took off to have the key made. Not much later, the key was ready. Florimond opened Petunia's cell, and she gratefully came out. Oh, why don't you come and live with me in Honey House, Florimond? You'll be much happier there. Well, I will, if you'll marry me. Will you? Oh, of course I will, silly. You've been so kind, and you've set me free. I love you very much. Oh, and they happily scampered off. When the king woke up and found out what had happened, he was furious and wanted to go and fetch both Petunia and Florimond. But he never reckoned with all the bees. The leader buzzed, Sting the king! Sting the king! And King Bitterberry got such a fright that he ran and ran until he disappeared over the hill. To this day, nobody knows what became of him. The bees happily hurried back to the Garden of Flowers where Petunia and Florimond had the most beautiful wedding in the honey house. And that's where they lived happily ever after. Oh, Mr. Bagabones, thank you for a wonderful story. Oh, boy, and I'm so glad it had a happy ending. In fact, my best stories are those that end with, and they all lived happily ever after. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pumpkin Patches, we hope you enjoy that as much as we did. We'll see you again. Bye! Bye. <laughs> Pumpkin Patch, oh Pumpkin Patch Fun and sun in Pumpkin Patch Freckles and speckles will sing a little song Woof, 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 woof and sing along Pumpkins are tasty 
and very good to eat. Ha! Pumpkin pie is such a treat. Woo -woo. Pumpkin patch, oh pumpkin patch. Let's all stay in pumpkin patch. Woo -woo. Pumpkin patch, oh pumpkin patch. Every day we play in pumpkin patch. <laughs> If this noise doesn't stop soon, I am going to go crackers. Hello, Pumpkin Patches. I hope you can hear me. We're very excited here in Pumpkin Patch today because Speckles has written us a beautiful play all about the desert, and we're going to be on television. I just didn't realize how much hard work it was going to be. Be careful! Well, I think I'm going to have a quick chat with Freckles and Speckles and see how they're getting on. Boy, it's like a madhouse here in Pumpkin Patch today. I wonder if they'll ever get that mess straightened out. Oh, hello, yeah. Freckles. Hello, Speckles. Hello. hello. Uh, yeah. Phew, I've yeah. had it and there's just so much to do. Yeah. Boy, yeah. if I knew doing a play yeah. was such hard work, I wouldn't have yeah. written it. Oh, no, Speckles. I think getting it ready is half the fun. Well, I'm yeah. glad it's going to be on television, Claire. All our Pumpkin Patch friends will be able to see it. Do you know your lines yet? Oh, I think so. We've been working very hard. Yeah! Ha! Stand aside, Jackal of the Desert, or else I'll take my trusty sword to your chicken-hearted hide! Hide! Waffles! Yeah, 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 yeah! Well, Waffles seems to be enjoying his part. The louder, the better. Do you think we'll ever be ready, Claire? Oh, we'd better be. Tomorrow's the big day. desert play that slowly will unfold. You'll see a wondrous story, yes, the greatest ever told. There's goodies and there's baddies and we wonder who will win. So let's not waste a minute more and let the play begin! O greatest Olabola, king of the burning desert. No, thank you, my blossom of blossoms. I think I have already had too much. I am a little thirsty, though. Well, I will fetch you some water from the well of sweetness, Father. Nowhere in the world is the water so clean and refreshing. There is no need to rush, my child. Come and sit down and talk with me a while. Your voice is as beautiful as the tinkling of a million tiny bells. <laughs> right, Father. I'm tired of being poor, El Bubblegum. Never a cent for some food or some good fun. Rubarba, we'll never have any money if we don't find a job. <gasps> Slithering sand snakes. <laughs> the thought of a job makes my mouth go dry as a desert dune. 
Never speak like that again. Well, excuse me, O oh camel of the desert. Money doesn't grow on trees, you know. <laughs> In fact, we don't even have any trees around here. What do you think these are, bird brain? <gasps> The light of bright idea has just gone on in my head. The Princess Kashmiri. She will never marry you. A thousand apologies, oh blue one, but you are just a rat in her eyes. I know that very well, brain the size of a date. I don't want to marry her. I want to capture her. My she? I see. <laughs> then her father Ulibula will give us. Ulabula. Ulabula will give us lots of money, eh? <laughs> Precisely. <laughs> now you're thinking nicely. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Listen. Quick, let's hide. Let's hide. <laughs> Desert Hawk, you almost scared me witless. Oh, I think I feel quite faint. Kashmiri, please marry me. Won't you marry me? Oh, no. My father would feel faint if I said I was getting married. He says I'm far too young. Well, then I will go and speak to him myself. After all, I am fearless, brave. And quite magnificent. Oh, I know. Oh, I must go. They'll be missing me at the palace. Kashmiri, my little dove, do not be afraid. One of these days you will be flying high in the sky with Desert Hawk. Farewell, my dove. Oh, oh, that Desert Hawk just turns my spine to custard. Oh, I must run. Will the princess be all right? Or will the villains win the day? Will, will Desert, Desert Hawk be there, there to save her? her? Let's go back and watch the play. I am off to the market, my precious people. Oh, really, Daddy? A dog, you are to guard me well on my journey. I am here to protect and serve you, O oh great son of the desert. Your every wish is my command, O oh brilliant and wonderful, oh, um, magnificent, oh, yeah, really, really nice. Enough. Great Ulabula. Simsala, you are to guard the princess while I am gone. And if anything untoward should happen to her while she's in your care? Yes. You are dog meat. Oh boy, oh boy! Oh, I just love dog meat! Oh, do not worry, great master. I will protect your desert jewel with my very life. Come, let us away. And you heard the great master do everything that he says. Okay. Ouch! Ouch! What? Ouch! Your dogness. No, that's so much better. Yes, can I help you? Nothing. Nothing what? Nothing. Your dogness. Wowie, you're so clever! Ooh, but I'm tired. I'm going to sleep for a while. Simsala, you stand over there and stand guard. Watch me very carefully. You heard what my daddy said. And I will have a thousand eyes in my head, dearest princess. Two will be enough, thank you. Just use them. Waste one. Come over here, man. We won't eat you. Yes, but God Dog will if I leave my post. Hey. 
You wanna make some money? Let's talk! <laughs> we want to capture Kashmiri, the princess over there, and then her father will give us lots of gold to get her back. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a good plan to me. Grab her, grab her! Get on! Not so fast, you black-hearted villain! And you thought you were so clever! But we know what you've been up to all along! Yes, that's right! Desert Hawk heard you talking by the well! And now you've walked into our plan so nicely! Oh, no! <laughs> Or I shall take my trusty sword to your chicken-hearted hide! On guard! No! Suddenly, my feet have grown wings! I'm finished! Kaput! I couldn't take a step more! Oh, 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 oh. You mean you won't take another step further, dirty rat? Come back here! <laughs> it's off to the palace with you, snake! You're going to jail where you belong. Oh, please don't send me to jail. Please, I'll fan you. Please. And so the play comes to an end. We hope you liked our desert tale. Kashmiri married Desert Hawk, and all the baddies went to jail. From, From all, all the, the talking, talking we have done, our throats, throats have gone quite dry. So till we see you all again... Pumpkin patch, oh, pumpkin patch. Let's all run to Pumpkin Patch! <laughs> pumpkin Patch, oh Pumpkin Patch! Fun and sun in Pumpkin Patch! <laughs> Freckles and speckles will sing a little song! Woofles go woof 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 and sing along! Pumpkins are tasty and very good to eat! <laughs> Pumpkin pie is such a treat <laughs> Pumpkin patch, oh pumpkin patch Let's all stay in pumpkin patch <laughs> Pumpkin patch, oh pumpkin patch Every day we play In pumpkin patch Sit down! Come on! Sit down! Sit down! Oh, 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 oh. Right! Everybody! Hear ye! Hear ye! For I have a question for ye! Do you like concerts? Yeah. 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 That's great! Because today we're going to have a super duper grouper pooper concert! Oh, wow! Yeah. And to introduce the concert, we have the man himself, sometimes known as the mayor of Pumpkin Patch, but known to me as Uncle, Uncle Bill. Bill. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Come closer, Wiffles. Now, as Wiffles said, today is concert time in Pumpkin Patch, and our entertainers are Wiffles. Yeah. The lovely Miss Claire. Yeah! And all the way from America, Mr. Harry Flash. Yeah! Our friend uh, Noodle. Noodle! <laughs> yeah! And the singing country cousins, Freckles and Speckles. Yeah! One, two, three. Pumpkin patches everywhere, we're here to have some fun. We'll dance for you and sing for you, the show has just begun. This really is a happy day, we hope you're happy too. This concert is a special treat and just for you! Yay! Who 
are your favorite country cousins? Right, and they're singing country boys. Go for it, speckles. Country boys, country boys, we're two happy country boys. Country boys, country boys, we're two happy country boys. This is Freckles, he's my cousin. He knows country songs by the dozen. This is Speckles, he wrote the song. He put the words and music where they...